ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to load and display a character on screen in XNA Game Studio. First you're going to want to create a new project. Call my load. This is very easy at first. We're going to need to create a new texture to be, which basically defines what we're going to be loading here. And I'm just going to say man. Put a uh, colon. Okay. Now that's basically half the tutorial. Is just by adding that simple variable. Next, we're gonna want to go down to load content. And you're gonna click man equals. Oops. Content. Dot load texture 2 d and then this is where we're going to put our image so to do that come down to the load content reference click that or right click it click add existing item next you're going to want to put a random picture uh, I'll just use cloud for example and once again if you are missing something on the side um, you can click view and you'll see uh, what you're missing so I am missing the properties window in here I can just click cloud and that will change the asset name to what we want to load it so Okay. Now, I know it doesn't make sense. It's a man, and I'm really loading a cloud. But that's okay. We can always change that. Next, you're gonna want to do go down to your sprite draw section. Okay. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to installize the uh, sprite batch. So sprite batch dot begin. Two parentheses and then a semicolon. Next, you're gonna want to issue the sprite draw. So sprite batch dot draw parentheses your variable name then new vector to a hundred by a hundred close that up another colon and then put color dot white and end it off with sprite batch dot end okay so there we have all the coding let me just explain this to you one more time here we installize the variable of texture 2d man texture 2d means what form we're going to be using like texture 3d but really we're using and then man is the variable and in programming you always want to end it with a semicolon now this is our load content function as you can see we installize the variable we then load the content pipeline content dot load texture 2d this is stating, once again, what texture we're going to load. And then our asset name. If we scroll down one more time, we'll bring in to our draw function. Sprite batch dot begin installizes the drawing. Sprite batch dot draw installizes what we're going to draw on screen. Sprite batch dot end is then ending our code. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and this has been Kevin from xnadevelopment.webs.com. Thank you.